Hey everybody. Yes, I'm still alive. I've just been very lazy lately and haven't wanted to do one of these. It's like actually me doing it, not just pictures or whatever. Anyway, um, this is what I'm going to do today. It's really shiny and so, so that's it all in the way. It's oh, awesome. I actually wore this look to the Renaissance Festival last weekend, which was amazing by the way. Okay, um, and then after that, to go into the crease and a little, and like above it, I don't, you know, whatever, I'm going to use um, another MAC pigment, Kitchmas, I guess is how you say it, a really pretty shiny pink color. God, it's shiny and awesome. And you might be saying, hey, that's not you, Macy. That's like light colors, but it's still shiny. So technically it is something I would always do. So ha. Huh. That's because I got some new pigments for my birthday for my best friend. And um, oh yeah, and I got a, new, got a new hole in my face um, and new hair color. You can tell it's like a bright red. It's just in this bathroom. It looks really dark. But, um, I also wanted to say that, like, I don't know if y'all have been wondering, like, why I don't do, like, full on face and I just do the eyes and I tell y'all what I do. It's because I don't like to focus on everything else. I just, like, focus on the eyes only. I don't wear different, I wear two different blushes. That's all I'll ever wear is either the MAC Blooming or that Sephora shiny one that I have. Other than that, I probably will never wear any other blushes because I don't like a lot of color on there. But I will tell you all what I use is I use the MAC Studio Fix all the time and Bare Minerals, the, the foundation, whatever stuff. That's what I use. I don't use anything else. I never have, never will. And then, of course, concealer to cover up all my retarded spots. MAC Concealer. And then that's the blush that I'll always use is MAC Blooming. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So as usual, I put Urban Decay Primer Potion all on my lid and up to my brow bone. I also put it underneath because I will be putting some um, eyeshadow underneath my eyelashes, the bottom ones. Yeah. All right. So for the color that's going to go on my lid is the MAC Pigment in Cornflower which is, God, it's awesome. And I'm just going to put all over my lid up to the crease. Okay, so that's that pretty, pretty shiny one. I hope y'all can actually see how shiny it is. Oh, excuse me. I'll have um, pictures up. I'll probably actually put them in the end of the video because I can't remember my password or anything to my blog spot thing, which is great, I know. And, um, yeah, I'm just dumb like that. Oh, and if y'all are wondering, what I put on with the um, cornflower color for all over my lid, I used this brush right here, this Konya, Sonia Gashik brush. <laughs> I'm retarded. I use it, it's really small. It's kind of like, it's not too stiff. It's not really stiff at all. Go see if I do Ooh. Okay. Anyway, and then um, for that pink color, and then my next color, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use this. This is what I've been using. It's awesome. I think it's like the medium blender or the large. Bl I don't know. Some kind of blender brush. It's the Sonia Kashuk one also. And then I'm gonna use uh, Bare Minerals. It's called Water Lily. I've been trying. To, I've been wanting to get this color for like two months now, three, four months, whatever. And I'm not gonna use a lot of this just gonna use a little bit to like just right up there and just kind of go down in like a weird like a late like a stupid V. Cause I don't want a lot of the color on it. And plus it's really light anyway so it's not gonna be that hard to see at all. Okay see you can barely see that but like in the mirror like I can see it. And whenever you go outside, you can see it and stuff. And in better lighting that isn't crap bathroom lighting, you can see it. 
Okay. Then, I'm going to take, of course, the wonderful vanilla pigment. I'm using my, the angled Kat Von D brush thingy. Yeah, I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to put it on the brow bone, of course, for my highlighting. I need to get my eyebrows done again. But that's that. And then I will use this tiny Sonia Kashuk brush. I don't remember what it's called because I don't have a good memory with that kind of thing. Then I'm going to use this Bare Minerals eyeshadow. It's called 2000, which is amazingly shiny. It's just like a silvery white version of Kitchmas kind of because Kitchmas is kind of like a pink. Anyway, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to put it underneath my bottom lashes. And I can guarantee you that this will all stay on all day because I work from like 7.40, no, like 7 o'clock in the morning to about 12.30 at night. And it stayed on perfect. Everything did so. It worked. Ooh, it worked for me, so. Whatever. But that's that color underneath. Hopefully y'all can see that better. Okay. Then, I'm going to use my Kat Von D liquid eyeliner in Black Metal Love. <laughs> I messed up on it. Oh well. I think it, it, yeah, it's messed up in the corner, but just to act like it's like not messed up because I have to fix that later. Just act like it's perfectly straight like this other one, like that one with the other one. Okay. Anyway, now that I'm done being retarded, um, I'm going to, on the bottom, what I'm going to line that with is this Makeup Forever eyeliner, the Aqua Eyes, and it's this pretty pink color. I'm guessing it's 13L, because that's what that says right there. Anyway, okay, and then that's the hot pink eyeliner underneath, and then I shall curl. And then I shall use the wonderful fiber wig mascara, of course. Okay, and. That is the final look that I that I wore the other day, and um, also I'm gonna try to get some Halloween looks in because I know that Courtney wants a vampire that isn't just your regular. Oh hey look it's black and it's red and there's blood and whatever. Even though I'm gonna have fake blood in it, but which tastes like mint by the way. But uh, and if you're wondering like oh well, what lip stuff would you wear with this look, I would use my um new lip gloss that I just got. It's Kat Von D, of course. It's Saint. It's like the white one. It's really pretty. Or maybe even Stripper, which is kind of like a tan color, kind of. But um, that's what I would use. And I hope you guys like this. And I'm going to add some pictures in at the end after I'm done talking and rambling on like I usually do. There will be pictures of it that look better and my hair will actually be dry and fixed instead of wet. Just I didn't feel like drying it before I did this. And if you're wrong with that cracking noise, I'm cracking my knuckles because I can't stop. But um, I'm going to try to be less lazy for y'all. For all the 13 people that have subscribed to this or whatever. You know, because that's all I have right now. But who knows, I could get more people to subscribe. Go ahead and do it if you want. I mean, I won't mind. Might even motivate me to do them even quicker than the one every now and then. But, um, but yeah, just... Try it out if y'all want. It could even go for a fairy look. And actually, I'm thinking about actually adding more glitter and stuff to it. Maybe not in this exact, you know, the purple and the pink and the whatever. But I will be doing a fairy, hopefully. The vampire. I want to get a zombie in there, but I don't think I'm that creative. Sorry. I mean, I love zombies, but damn. Um, and I don't know what else I'm going to do, but yeah. So I hope you guys like this. Here's an up close, Miss Foya. Okay, so see you guys later. Bye.